Hey guys, welcome back, or if you're new here, my name's Ruby, and welcome to my channel. So this vlog is a very exciting one because I'm off to Europe today! So yeah, this is my first time going to Europe. I've never been there. I've only ever been to Bali and Thailand. So I'm super excited about this. Um, so I'm going a few different places in Europe. So we're flying into Paris. Um, then doing the south of France, then London, and then Italy. So I think I'm going to break it up into three vlogs so that they're not too long. Because um, I feel like we're doing lots. So there'll be lots to jam pack in there. Um, but if you're sick of my Bali vlogs of me just eating and drinking for two weeks, then this will probably good because I'll do a few more activities this time, I think. But um, definitely still lots of eating and drinking. So whatever. Um, but I am just finishing up my packing now. And then dad's coming to get me. And then I'm off to the airport. I'm so excited. So let's finish packing. And I'm also very sad to be leaving this baby boy. Are you gonna miss me for two weeks, Tobes? I'm gonna miss you, buddy. My little baby. My little baby boy, look at that face. Oh, darling. All right, let's go get my bags, Tobes. So it's the only McDonald's in the world without a yellow sign. Why? Because we're in the fanciest part of Paris. <laughs> <laughs> Is that really why they just didn't have to do a yellow sign? They, they originally, when they built the street, they only allowed black and white signs. Oh my god, really? What a fun fact. Thank you for that. <laughs> officially in Paris. I am so excited. Um, yesterday was a big travel day. It was like 24 hours all up. So we did Brisbane to Melbourne, which is like two and a half hours and it takes, <laughs> and it takes um, like three hours for me to get to the Brisbane airport anyway. So that was already a lot. Um, and then 14 hours to Abu Dhabi. I got sat next to no one on the flight. It was so good. I was so happy. And then Abu Dhabi to Paris and we are here. Um, so we just spent yesterday kind of like exploring. We went and saw the Eiffel Tower and that sort of stuff and then had dinner. Um, and then we're going to do a bit more walking around, exploring this morning and go get breakfast. And then this afternoon we are driving to Corval, which I think is like kind of near the south of France. So yeah, I'm really excited. The Eiffel Tower yesterday was so beautiful. It was amazing. Yeah, I haven't seen any of So what does the person in the back do? Put their legs like yeah, around right them? Straddle. That's so absurd. It's it's That's a go kart. That's not a car. That's a go kart. <laughs> Do you surely you don't need a license to drive yeah. that? <laughs> Happy birthday to you. 
Hey, babe. Hey. hey. They are some <laughs> pretty <laughs> flowers. Yes. Yeah. Thank you very much. <laughs> beautiful. It goes well with They're beautiful, Sue. Yeah. Really nice. He's a European now. Oh. <laughs> How's everyone enjoying the pool? It's <laughs> <laughs> Delightful. My poor little seat's really taken a turn for it over there. It's just go home, seat control. Oh, the summer, the summer storm of 19. We will rebuild. <laughs> what did I say? Watch my seat. Wait, like, All right, now you're gonna have to hold on to that. Is it on video? Yeah. Thank you. Bonjour. <laughs> Bonjour. Je m'appelle Ruby. That's all we've got. <laughs> yeah, no, no. Like, Bonjour, champagne. Bonjour, champagne. Bonjour, champagne. Bonjour, champagne. Say hi to the party. This is kind Woo. of cool because you can like, float a little on right. the engine. <laughs> I'm a new videographer. Oh, okay. We've bought in the chairs. Yeah, uh, <laughs> yeah. You need to do a boom mic. Hello guys, so I don't know if I kind of said this at the start of the vlog, but I feel like I should do all this now so it makes sense for the rest of my trip. Um, but I am here with my auntie um, who used to live in London. So she has spent like a lot of time in Europe um, and she actually met her husband when she was living in London and they've moved back to Australia now. So. I'm here on this trip with them um, and we are currently staying with Mark who is my auntie's husband's parents. Um, sorry, Mark is my auntie's husband and we're staying with his parents here in Cor Cor mm, not so great on the pronunciation, definitely not great on the French either. Like we had like a little party last night. Um, Sue, who is my auntie's husband's mum, invited everyone from the neighborhood over for like this little party um, and had them over last night. You can probably, well, it's actually her birthday on Monday. So she's got these flowers here that are beautiful, um, but invited them around for a party last night because we were here as well. And everyone was just speaking French and myself and my auntie and her friend Steph were kind of just in the corner like, can't help not sure don't know how to communicate with these people um but it was really nice they all um everyone from the neighborhood kind of came over for the party and bought some presents and stuff for sue so that was really cute um but it is sue's birthday tomorrow um so we're doing a really nice lunch tomorrow but um we went out for lunch today as well to one of their favorite restaurants that you guys would have just seen um and yeah they bought out like a full cake and these beautiful flowers for her so that was really nice um but yeah so i don't know i don't even remember when the last time i checked in was but we flew into paris first we did like a day and a half in paris and then we drove to here which is where we are now called corval corval i want to say it's kind of like the middle of france um and we're staying with um yeah my auntie's husband's parents and they've got this beautiful property here where we're staying um it's huge i'll show you guys around in a little bit um but yeah we're gonna be here for a few days and then we're off to london after this um but yeah you guys would have just seen our day so we went out for lunch today they were actually really nice in the restaurant and really accommodating for my vegan needs which is like my biggest fear coming here um but they were really accommodating which was really nice um they made me up some really yummy salads and yeah it was really good and um yeah i got through these beautiful flowers and they did a really nice cake for her um and when they bought the cake out they were like do you want sorbet or anything and i was like no i'm fine don't worry about it um but yeah we're back at their house now we're just hanging out in the pool it's really hot here which is obviously my dream you guys know how i love a tan always um but yeah we've just been hanging out in the pool since we got back enjoying this beautiful weather until I have to go back to Australia and I hope it's warm in Byron when I get back, fingers crossed. <laughs> Everyone's been practicing their French. <laughs> what a perfect soundtrack for our vegetable picking. <laughs> right, vegetables. We're gonna eat you. I'm gonna cut my first watermelon ever. Do you want? Do you want to get a record? Of course. 
I've never grown these before. This this is. I think we need a. <laughs> Ready? Yes. How do you know when they're ready? Well, Mark says if it sounds hollow, then that's when they're ready. ready. I mean, it looks ready. Ready. One, One two, two, three. three. Woohoo! <laughs> My baby. It looks nice from the outside. It sounds very hollow. Do you want me to hold that one while we continue yeah. our journey? Yeah. <coughs> mm, it's heavy. Yeah. You just got everything out here. Wow, these are I huge. You. I don't know if I can carry these and film at the same time. Okay. We've got a pretty good haul here, I think. <laughs> <gasps> it's huge! <laughs> Add that to my pile. <laughs> Yeah, we'll do that now. I'll carry this one. <laughs> I think we've done well out here today. Yeah, but <laughs> what's in there? They're melons again. Oh, you but said they're, cantaloupes they're in there. Yeah, cantaloupes. Yeah, we're ready. <laughs> we have our vegetables <laughs> as fresh as can so be. So many tomatoes. Sue's so going in. We do have snakes here. <laughs> Don't say that! Oh, hang on. Oh. Oh. And then to the left, Mom? That Maybe. one's huge. Do you want me to take that one? Hang on. Oh. Yeah, down in there. Oh, hang on. There's some oh, big oh, ones oh. in there. <laughs> oh, they're beautiful! Go on, yeah. tell us. What day is it? How long have we been here for? What are we doing today? It's great. Uh, <sighs> what day is it? Monday. It's Monday? Monday? Yeah. Day three here, I think? Is this our third day? I've been drinking a lot. I don't really yeah. know. <laughs> it's day three, Monday. We've just had a three and a half hour lunch. A very long lunch with a lot very of liquid, wines. Very, very filling, very delicious. <laughs> and yeah, just out here in the, uh, in the fields of uh, France. They're not very um, alive out here, are they? It's pretty quiet. It's pretty quiet. But it's pretty like dead. Like actually dead. Well, that might explain the crucifix. <laughs> that is a bit depressing, isn't it? I love how they were like, you have to stop off here. <laughs> you gotta stop off here. And there's just this crucifix. There's a crucifix. On Sue's birthday. A crew of spes uniga. With a whole lot no of dead idea. land. Steph's having a great time though, that's all that matters. <laughs> very spiky, very spiky. <laughs> Thanks for that, Brett. No worries. Appreciate it. So that's what's been going on today. <laughs> and now we are headed back to the house for the rest of Sue's birthday festival. <laughs> to the pool. <laughs> to the pool. pool. Straight to the pool. Woo! <laughs> <laughs> oh, Steph, you're in first. <laughs> in London now um, so on our last day in Corville that you guys would have just seen we did like a winery tour um, and just went to lots of the wineries around in the area we went to a castle so that's really cool um, and then yesterday we kind of spent the whole day traveling to London so we drove from Corville back to Paris and then got 
train from that and then another train and we are here so we're staying with one of my auntie's friends dave um and we're about to go get breakfast this morning so let's go Um, it was just down the road. It was very Melbourne inspired, that one. I feel like there must be an Australian owner or something. Did they sell Tim Tams and Vegemite? Yeah, they sell Tim Tams and Vegemites around them. And then, where are we going now? Going to Portobello Road Market. Portobello Road Market Hill. in Notting Hill. So apparently they have like flower markets there. And they have all the pretty colourful houses as well. And I really want to see them. So my little Pam's taking me there. I'm very excited. You excited, huh? Not to be on camera, enough. <laughs> We're just waiting for our bus at the moment. So we have taken a little bus ride and then a train ride now. And we are just walking up to the markets now. We're gonna get flowers or... Yeah, and then maybe give them to me. Things, yeah. Maybe for some photos in front of the coloured houses, that'd be nice. But it is very pretty here already. All the little houses. Okay, that needs to be turned down. <clears throat> <clears throat> so it is now 9 p.m. So, try and get in there. No. Um, oh, that's that's very actually, bad lighting with that. Okay, lighting is fucking atrocious. Um, so unfortunately, there was no. absolutely no flowers at the market we went to. It was more of a bring your random crap and leave it <laughs> on the floor and hope that people buy it. <laughs> However, we did find all the pastel like buildings and that sort of stuff, so that was really nice. And they match my cute nails too. Um, so we got some, well I got some good photos for the gram in front of the buildings because Sam doesn't like photos unfortunately. It's not for me, that's for sure. Mm -hmm. um, so we're just at Sam's now and we just finished getting ready. So we're going to go meet my auntie and her friends in, where is it? Um, What's the suburb? I don't know. It's like in near Waterloo Station. Near, near the London Station. Station. I don't know. I still don't Under know. Under the London Eye. I still don't know anything about the suburbs here, but that's fine. Oh, she wants to be in the vlog now. No, I don't. I don't think I explained, but Sam obviously used to live in Oz. Um, but she moved to London to be a little teachy, so it's really sad that she we not live together anymore. No, so sad. How long ago did you move now? Six months. 
That's fucking on so fast. Mm. That's wild. Well, the good news yeah. is she only has a year and a half left on her visa, so she has to come back to me soon. Mm. Wow. Well, or I go to another country. Mm. Who knows? Mm. Or maybe I have to leave too. <laughs> yeah. Or you could leave, like never ever leave me and stay here forever. <laughs> I could stay here for two years too. Actually, mm. I could stay here forever because I'm not working ever again. I'm not. <laughs> the working life is not. If you're you. seeing this, transfer me some money because I'm not doing that again. <laughs> Okay, we probably shouldn't be lying here. We should probably go. So we went to meet. The event that my auntie is like organized for today was meant to start at four. It's it's approximately like 10 o'clock. It's I'm 10 past sure. nine. It's 10 past nine. Yeah. Love that for us. And the trains are on strike. So it's probably going to be like a 30 min journey. Yikes. Okay, well, we better go then. Um, and I'm not going to vlog tonight because I'm not taking this with me. Because we're going to get lit. We'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye. Mm -hmm.